Earlier, you saw how PowerShell can register for notifications of events generated by WMI. PowerShell can also respond to events that re-fired by other objects, such as timer objects from the .NET framework. Generally speaking, you start by creating an object, like a timer, that will generate events. You set any necessary properties of the object, such as enabling it. You have the shell register to receive events from the object, and you specify an action that will happen when the event actually occurs. A simple example can show you exactly how to do it. Here's a very simple example of using events. We'll start by creating a new timer object. This object is part of the .NET framework. Next, we'll set the interval on this timer to 5 seconds. Next, we'll register an event notification for the timer's event. This event will be triggered every 5 seconds and we'll specify a simple action that we want to occur each time. With the event notification in place, we're now able to enable the timer, causing it to begin ticking. Every 5 seconds we'll see the event trigger and we'll see the action we defined. There are many other objects that have events, although a complete discussion of them is beyond the scope of this book. In many cases, you're moving away from PowerShell proper and into .NET framework development, so you'll need to start consulting documentation like Microsoft's MSDN library, which can be found online. When we're done with this, we can shut it off in a couple of ways. Setting the timer's enabled property to false will stop the timer from ticking, leaving our event notification in place. If we re-enabled the timer, we'd start seeing our notification action again. Alternately, we retrieve a list of all registered event notifications. By viewing that list, we can see every event we've registered to receive. If we pipe those objects to a second commandlet, we'll remove the event notifications. At this point, if we enabled the timer, nothing would happen. The events would still be occurring under the hood, but were no longer registered to be notified.